yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I wanted to talk about why it's important to have options in the dating game, okay? Because a lot of dudes hit me up and they're like, yo, Mr. Locario, I'm having trouble getting this girl. I'm having trouble getting that girl. This girl's flaking on me. How come I'm not, you know, getting any sex? I'm not going on any dates. And see, the reason why it's hard for you is because you don't have any options, right? But see, the thing is, is that in order to get options, you have to put in some work to get to the point where you actually have options, right? So you need basically a number of different women that are fucking with you that you could call on, that you could go on dates with, have sex and all this other stuff. But it takes some time for you to build that, right? But the thing is a lot of guys don't want to have to do that, right? So then what happens is, is that a lot of times guys get into situations or you know relationships where it's not really a good thing. It's not really a good situation they're in because they end up staying with a girl or dealing with a girl who is on some bullshit because they don't have any options. They're staying with that girl who you know is not that good looking, a the chick they're not really into because they don't have any options, you understand? They're dealing with a girl who has an attitude problem, a girl who's uncooperative because they don't have any options. See, the thing is, if you have options, then you would basically just do your thing and keep it moving when a chick is on some bullshit. You just move on to the next girl and the next girl and the next girl. But in order for you to get that many girls in your circumference, you have to put in the work first. So it's about you putting in the work, you get the options, you build that team, and then you are able to like, you know, chill and relax a little bit because you've got some chicks on your team that you could call up and make shit happen. So even let's say you are out on a night with your boys and shit, you're going out, you're talking to a whole bunch of different girls. Let's say, for example, that night shit don't pop off with any of the girls you meet that night. You can just call up one of the girls who's one of your options and be like, yo, what you up to? Where you at? Blah, blah, blah. Go over to her house and do what you got to do. You understand what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, is if you don't have any options, then you can't do that. If you don't have any options, then what happens is, is that, you know, you end up going out and trying to make something happen. And then it's like you're desperate for something to go down that night with, with, with whatever chick because you don't have any options. You don't have any other girls to call on. So every time when you are dealing with any particular chick, you make that the biggest deal in the world. You make her like the, you know, the most important thing that's going down in that moment because you don't have any other options. So options are very, very, very important. This is why I have my book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, because it teaches you how to have options. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you don't have options, you're gonna be that guy who, you know, you haven't had sex or dealt with a chick for like, you know, six to eight months, and you finally start talking to a girl, then you end up becoming needy. You end up being a little insecure. You put too much value on the situations that you're dealing with any particular woman because you don't have any options, you understand? And see, the more that you get options, the more that other women are gonna want you because you're gonna give off the vibe as a, you know, you're gonna be that guy who knows how to talk to women, that guy who's confident, that guy who's cool, calm, and collected, and that's gonna be all up in your, you know, the vibe that you're giving off because you're the type of guy who has options women can tell when a man has other women you understand what i'm saying they can tell when a guy doesn't really have shit going on or he he's not really dealing with anybody else there's a certain type of vibe that goes along they can tell when that guy has women and that those women are going to want him because they know other women want him you understand if you're chilling and you know you're not really getting shit popping and you give off that vibe that you you know you don't have nothing going on and you know you're you're seeming all needy She's not going to be attracted to you that much, you understand? But if you have that, I could take it or leave it attitude with this girl, you understand? And she's going to want you more because she's going to see that value in you because you are confident you see that value in yourself. And this is why you're even getting all those girls and getting all those options. And then this is going to give you more girls and more girls and more girls. So it's just a snowball effect. You understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, you got to continuously put in that work to keep getting the girls because what's going to happen is you're going to need to uh kick some girls to the curb you're going to need to charge them to the game then you got to bring some new chicks in to replace those girls you understand so you have to make it a continuous thing what happens is certain guys that get sprung they meet a chick they really like her and they're focusing all their attention on you know making shit work with her or paying her too much attention that they're taking away time from themselves to you know build up their team and have more options you understand so you know you guys have to understand how important it is to get options, you gotta make sure that you're putting in the work now so that at a certain point you build up a team, maybe you got like four or five chicks you're dealing with, and then at any time you can call those girls while you're still also talking to new women. You understand what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Um, guys, listen, if you have any questions, make sure you click the links below. Also, make sure you guys get tickets 
to the Bad Boy Seminar, March 25th, 2017. Click the link below to get your tickets to the seminar, all right? There's still some seats left. Make sure you make it happen, all right? So I'll holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.